How did Burner become financially free? We will be going through both his music and business. Starting with some background, Burner, born Gilbert Anthony Milam Jr., is a music artist and entrepreneur coming from the San Francisco Bay Area. After moving to Arizona at 13 is when Burner started to take notice of his passions. At 18 years old, Burner had the drive to turn his passions into income. Now we see him getting recognized for those accomplishments. His debut mixtape, Dirty Sneakers, Plenty Ways to Get It, in 2007 was the start to opening up those doors to building his empire. 2012 would be a significant year for him both in music and business ventures that are being paid off for now. Let's dive into those income streams. Going into music, Burner has released 19 solo albums, 29 collaboration albums, and a lot more mixtapes, running his discography deep. Just saying those numbers of projects release shows the consistency and passion that he has had for music throughout his career. With the release of his first album Dirty Sneakers came his own record label Burn One Entertainment to release it through. After growing a name for himself through solo and collaboration projects, Burner would eventually sign with Wiz Khalifa in 2012 which was a turning point in his career for various reasons. After signing with Wiz, Burner would continue to consistently release music himself or in collaboration. As of recently, we have seen his releases coming through his own label, Burn One Entertainment. He is still signed to Taylor Gang, but with the leverage he brings to the table, I'm sure that he has a deal that suits what he wants long term, possibly having a deal between Burn One and Taylor Gang. There is no stop for Burner in music, as that was just one passion that he turned into income. What I am most excited to talk about is Burner's business ventures. If there are two things that Burner is passionate about, that is music and cannabis. In 2014, Burner started his hemp-based beverage company, Hemp20. Hemp20 can be found online and distributed in stores across the country. Burner has created Hemp20 as something bigger than just beverages, including apparel and skateboards. Hemp20 looks to continue growing in its separate lane in the hemp industry, providing an alternative drink. Products continue to grow across the United States, which is a good sign for the company. Eight years strong with just one of Burner's business ventures. The business that Burner is building up as an empire is through his famous cannabis company, Cookies. The company was officially launched in 2012, which marked another point in that year which completely changed things for him. He recently was featured on the Forbes cover with a great interview. In that interview, he talks about building Cookies more than just products, creating a community around the brand. With this, the company has been expanding physical locations as Cookies as well as being found in local dispensaries in legal states. Pillars that hold up this company include reputation as a brand and customer experience. Cookies creates events around releases of their products entering stores, driving business to these locations. The company creates an experience for customers which draw people into not just the cannabis products, all cookies related news. In a 2021 interview, Burner mentioned the clothing line having 50 million in past year sales and things have only increased since then. As for what the company as a whole is worth, Burner says they are the first legal billion dollar weed brand, which just might be so from the 49 cookie brand locations, growing distribution and growing brand awareness slash loyalty as a whole. Now I have not seen exact documents to back it up, even if it is not a billion dollar company just yet, with the growth they have had, it will soon. Burner turned his passion of cannabis into income just like he did with his other passion in music. As for other business ventures and investments, Burner is a serial entrepreneur creating brands that stand on their own outside of his name and invest into his passions which now have both given him a return on investment. This leads me to the question, what is next for Burner? Burner is consistent with his music projects both solo and in collaboration and through his busy life I think we will see a lot more added to his discography. As for Hemp20, the products are being found in more stores across the country since 2014, building a name outside of Burner. His empire and cookies is truly where the future will be for him for that money maker. The company is skyrocketing in sales, locations, and value. What is next for Burner? Building a legacy that is bigger than himself. In summary, Burner turned both his passions of music and
and cannabis into income streams. His music is what opened doors for him in his career, which he took full advantage of. The Taylor Gang artist took his chance and has now built up the largest legal cannabis company in the world, which still has so much room for growth. It does not stop there with Burner finding more ways to bring new products to market through other business ventures like Hemp 20. He focuses beyond the product to the customer experience, which has been successful to growing his companies. Burner turned his passions into money, which has now made him financially free. And that is how Burner became financially free. I hope you found this video informational. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know who I should talk about next. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.